Hi, I'm Douglas McCoy. I'm the author of How Cool Is It To Recreate Yourself. How Cool Is It To Recreate Yourself has been designed to help you take yourself from where you are to where you want to be. It teaches you the principles of actually recreating yourself. One of the principles and one of the stories I want to tell you about is a gentleman who took himself from a paver doing that trade and having an image to be like his idol. And he's able to adopt and assume the roles and act the roles and the character traits and the moods until he became the role. And he's become now the world's number one attribute to rock and roll's king of idols, Elvis Presley. I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Dean Vegas. My name is Dean Vegas. I'm an Elvis tribute artist. I perform all over the world, including Canada, the United States, Sweden, China, Bali, Indonesia, and the Middle East, and of course all over Australia as well. So, I wasn't always a tribute artist. My real profession as a young kid was a paper. I started my own business at the age of 20, and about eight years later, uh, couldn't do it anymore. The back gave in, and I've always had a passion to perform my idol. My idol was Elvis Presley. I always wanted to perform an Elvis tribute. So uh, I finally uh, put a show together, and for the first five years, it was like banging your head against a brick wall. You know, I had a saying: I'd knock on somebody's door, open it, slam it in my face, because that was easier uh, going through that than than the knockbacks that I had. But with persistence and belief in yourself and in myself, I believe that I could do it. And within five years of actually uh, putting the show together, I won the world's largest Elvis convention in Canada. Uh, and then a year after that, I was invited to sing in Memphis, Tennessee at the Elvis Memorial Dinner, which is invitation only. And since that time, I've had the privilege of performing with the Jordanaires, Elvis's original backing singers. I've had the privilege of performing with DJ Fontana, Elvis' original drummer, the Sweet Inspirations, and the Imperials. So, uh, you know, I consider myself as one of the luckiest people on earth. And to top all that off, a few years ago when I was in Tupelo, that is the birthplace of Elvis Presley, I received the key to the city of Tupelo from the mayor of the city. So uh, I couldn't be any happier, and if I can do that, Imagine what you can do in your life. You need belief. You need strength to keep going even when times are tough. And you need persistence. And you will achieve anything. Trust me. I know. I've done it. Thank you. Thank you very much.